I'm Aaron Nagler. I'm here with Don Banks. We're breaking down the Miami Dolphins 2016 NFL Draft. And Don, you look at this team with all the resources poured into the defensive side of the ball, especially along the defensive line. Can they, will they focus along the offensive line in the draft? No, I, I, I think first and foremost, they look at that secondary and realize right. how much they need to upgrade before the season starts. I mean, <laughs> they wanted to get rid of Brent Grimes and his outspoken wife, of course, and he's in Tampa Bay now. But getting Byron Maxwell coming off his career worst year out of Philadelphia, that's not enough. So I really think cornerback is need number one for the Dolphins at number 13. Mackenzie Alexander, what about Eli Apple? I mean, his name, he's kind of one of those risers who maybe the media is catching up with NFL scouts a little bit. Could one of those guys, Alexander, Apple, could they be the pick? Yeah, I, I like Apple's game because he's a, an aggressive corner and the Dolphins' new defensive coordinator, Vance Joseph, he prefers kind of right. got cornerbacks who play kind of press coverage, get up there, make them fight their way off the line. So yeah. I think Eli Apple, even though he's, he doesn't have perfect NFL size, I think he could be in their wheelhouse at 13. To me, it starts with the secondary, even though uh, I really didn't love what they did in free agency, and I thought they just got older on the defensive line. Right. So a pass rusher is, to me, uh, need number two. You look at the running back spot. This is a team that seemingly brought in every veteran available uh, in free agency. Are they just trying to avoid using draft capital on a back? They shouldn't be because let's say a scenario where somehow Ezekiel Elliott gets to them. Right. I, I think they'll run the card up, up to the podium in that case. They'd really have to have a conviction on Alabama's Derrick Henry, somebody in that range. But I don't know that at 13, if, if they can right. justify that grade. It seems this team is continually putting all its eggs in the Ryan Tannehill basket. I mean, that being said, is this a draft where perhaps on the second or third day they look at a developmental guy, a quarterback? Well, especially since you have a new head coach in Adam Gase, who's right. kind of a, a quarterback coach. I think he's going to make a determination this year. I think Tannehill actually does face kind of a make or break season because his contract can be walked away from right. after this year. And it would not surprise me if Miami said, let's take a guy in the third or fourth round. And someone Gase can kind of groom in his system from the get go rather than bringing somebody in who's got all sorts of bad habits, et cetera. You know, speaking of Gase, how involved do you think he is in this draft? I believe he has to have a strong presence. Now, maybe Gase won't try to exert himself with this first draft because he'll he'll defer to Tannenbaum and he'll he'll advise in consent. But I do believe that he knows the type of player he's looking for on the offensive side of the ball. He'll probably give a lot more latitude on the defensive side. Absolutely. It makes a lot of sense. Don Banks breaking it down for the 2016 NFL Draft. For Don, I'm Aaron for SI.com.